What's up everybody? Thanks for sticking with me for so long. This has been the first writing with the brand new Kaigelu 322. This one is the beautiful matte blue version with gold accents. Looks like two center bands here, but it's actually one that has been uh, has an indention in the metal up there as well beautiful clip on the top it has a golden kangaroo with some, um, some 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 leaves around I don't know how to explain that and on the bottom those two look two ring looks as well black thing on the butt black grip section one golden ring white inner cap unfortunately and it is a slip cap and a true slip cap because it doesn't click in place apparently what I just wrote was of course the oath of the Night's Watch of the TV show Game of Thrones of the book series A Song of Ice and Fire and it is a very nice writing pen to say the least it is plenty wet <clears throat> excuse me um, it's plenty wet it's plenty smooth you heard some feedback that might have been the angle which I am uh, have hold holding which I held it yes <laughs> and uh, the paper because this is a shitty book which I'm writing in, but it was a gift from a cute girl, so I'm using it. Really, really nice nib on this. This is a medium nib, and this is not a video solely about this pen, but Kaigelu pens in general. And I have named this video Kaigelu pens in general. And these are my favorite, absolute favorite pens in the entire world. Those are two 316 models. Let's put them next to each other here. My lighting is shitty, I know. Oh, let's just do it like that. Those are two out of three, uh, 356. Kaigelu's. I have a blue one in a slightly lighter blue than this one and I can't fucking find it. That bugs me a bunch but I have a separate review about this series of pens on my channel. I urge you to look it up because those pens are under six dollars. Shipped. Immediately after I got these ones I got these ones. First, the blue one, but this is, I think, a fucking ugly blue. I really do not like this blue. This is the Kaigelu 382. Then I bought it in black. I will go over these in just a second. And I have two Kaigelu 328 fountain pens. Yes, these are all fountain pens see a slight size comparison here those are very small pens slim and slender and delicate and petite neither these are fat pens so first the uh, 382 322 I'm sorry has a medium two-tone nib black grip section has the same screw and converter it's filled up to the top um, with Pelican Royal Blue and it has the same screw and converter as these two pens the Kaigelu 316 I think they make this pen this one in black and red as well I just loved that blue you can post it it is a big pen it posts nicely it is on the heavier side I just like to use it unposted and posted sometimes so I mix and match the uh, yeah the cap bugs me a little bit that it doesn't really click in place it's tight on there though 
doesn't rotate or anything. Beautiful pen. I paid for this one $18.99 in US dollars. It doesn't say Kaigelu anywhere besides on the net, but my camera won't focus, so I'm not even gonna bother trying. So this is the, uh, well, what's it called? I think charcoal marble, 316, and this is fucking gorgeous. This is one of my everyday go-to pens. Just, just look at it. It is something else. This one cost, I think, around 22 or 23 dollars, and that is because I got it shipped with a box. And the box is this one. I know I'm a little bit out of frame, but it is really impressive. It is this sleeve, this cardboard sleeve, and in there is a fucking wooden or hard cardboard box that looks like that with, you know, soft satin stuff in there. Also comes with this hanger, this little lanyard. And the pen was just in there. I think there's some paperwork also. <laughs> Look at it. This is a $20 pen. $20. You have some instructions in there, so not just gibberish. This is what you get for $22. I mean, what more do you expect? I'm really into Lamy pens. Safaris and uh, the All Stars, but these pens have absolutely changed my mind about fountain pens. I love these so much. This one has a screw uh, cap, has a very nice grip section. You can pause the video and you know go back to to all the comparisons. Otherwise, this video would go like half an hour. Has basically the same nib like this one. But let me check for a second because I haven't checked myself. Yes. About the same nib. And this nib you just saw me write with. It is nice. It is really nice. So the charcoal marble. And this is the amber marble. The only thing I don't like about this pen is how the marbling is done. So almost half of the pen is completely black. And the other side is just beautiful like this big splotch of amber color, caramel twirls the cap is beautiful though on this one no the clip doesn't rotate was it on this one no on this one neither neither on this one um they have the kaigalu kangaroo and leaves on the uh, on the top of the cap but it is black unlike on this one which is gold beautiful pen Really beautiful. And uh, this, these two pens are the 356s. Quite a bit smaller. Thinner, lighter. These pens are heavy, big, but in a good way. In a really good way. Let's put those fat chicks here in the corner. And uh, this one is like a Parker. I don't know what Parker, just off the top of my head. I think I mentioned it in my review. Small nibs, long grip section, under $6. I think I paid for each of those $5.55 or something like that, under $6. Shipped to your door from China within three to four weeks. This one is the same just in a black lacquered material. Those are the 382s. Um, it says Kaigelu in kind of a modern font on here, on the cap, and 382 on the uh, 180 degree line uh, side, I mean. It says Kaigelu, 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 Kaigelu on the, <laughs> on the top of the cap. Just kidding. It really does say that. It has a golden two-tone nib, which means the 
some squiggly lines are in silver and the kangaroo on there is in silver and these nibs are even wetter than these ones um, really nice though the only problem I have had was I was storing them and those have twisty converters I was storing them in a uh, in a jar like that with the nib down and one day I uncapped my pen and the ink was pouring out so it emptied itself out um, just something to consider might have been only my pen I don't know this one is the same just in black and I think it goes even better with this because on this blue one you saw that the grip section is black which is kind of weird but these pens I think I paid for around eight dollars you can make an offer get it even cheaper and on this black one you can you can you can post all of them by the way except for this black one because due to the material it is thicker and the cap won't stay on but that may just be on my model um, really nice size really nice weight it's a lighter pen small nib and just to compare it like that Johnny's made pens for a bargain and absolutely fantastic quality you cannot get a pen for that amount of money with better quality that's just the bottom line so these pens I have twice I thought about uh, gifting one to my mom but she doesn't write with fountain pens anymore or if she does she she just squiggles something and she doesn't bother you know getting the fountain pen she just takes what she has lying around you know a lot of crap um, I, I don't know I don't care so I'm keeping both of them one had an issue with the cap I told that to the seller and he sent me a replacement cap because the cap was rotating freely it still is a little bit the new one so it might be the grip section but I, 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 I just didn't bother you know getting yet another one for free by the way and look at the size comparison of those two this is really a petite pen I'm not kidding you when I say that slip on cap really nice gold accents two-tone nib very small nib you can post it it just stays on by, by by friction and the nib is even smaller <laughs> no nah. actually it's not let me scratch that I'm telling you shit here so the nibs are the exact same size but due to the slenderness the slimness of this pen it seems a little bit smaller to me by the way just in a subjective feeling that I have it is light when you post it it has a great size um, it, it has a nice smooth long grip section you can feel this step down here a little bit I don't know if the camera picks it up because it is a shitty camera you can get me a new one if you want to to increase the video quality and it just just such a beautiful classy design two gold rings here two here another ring here another one there gold rings all over the place of course gold colored rings not real gold and these have two different converters and this one is the model with the converter slightly too thick for the barrel by the way metal construction all of these no cheap cracky plastic like the uh, what do I have here where is it yeah like my pilot 78 G this is crackable plastic really cheap pen but more expensive than these ones and these ones are made out of metal so yeah um, yeah back to the converter and on this one you get a slightly slimmer converter just depends doesn't say Kagello on that one I don't really give a fuck about the converters they hold ink they hold it securely I'm fine with that 
So these are my Kaigelo pens as of February 2014. Um, I'm checking in with the seller from time to time to see what he's got. Um, he has some other models that I'm not too hot about just because of the design. Because I do like my long grip sections because I, I like to hold my pen a little bit higher. And on this one, you, you don't even feel the, um, the threads. And while I'm at it, on this one, I had a slight problem and I'm still having it. You open it, close it, and of course now I don't have the problem. You open it, yes, and on midway, um, it gets stuck just a little bit, you know, you, ha you have some drag when you screw it open. I tried, you know, uh, with the tip of a knife um, to clean out and scratch out those threads a little bit. It, the problem is probably in there um, where the material hasn't been removed as deeply as on the other threads. So when you get in there, it feels now like it's closed, but you can, you know, twist it just some more so it's now really closed. Beautiful, beautiful pens. I recommend every one of them. Um, I think I mentioned every model here. This video is already getting 20 minutes. And I thank you very, very much for watching. This will be one of my last fountain pen videos for a while now because I am very happy with the ones I already own. And I'm not, I really don't have the budget to buy more. I might get more if, you know, I get some for a good price. But with these ones, I'm pretty much covered for, for now. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great night. Roll Tide, y'all.